So, but then you start getting um, calls from Scripps, who I always think of the newspapers, right? It was Scripps Howard News yeah. Service, which had newspapers all over the country. Well, I had a call from Gannett mm. first, and the president of Gannett wanted to come over, fly over and talk to me, and I said, sure. So he flew over and talked to me and, and tried to convince me to sell my business to Gannett. And I told him I wasn't interested. I was fine where I was. Of course. And uh, so uh, then uh, uh, I had a call from somebody at Summer Redstones in New York. And I told him I wouldn't be interested. Uh, you know, they said, you can still manage it, but we'll manage you from New York. I said, that wasn't going to go, so thank <laughs> you. And, right. then, and then I got a call from Scripps Howard. Uh, Cincinnati, and they wanted to come down and talk to me, and so they came down uh, to the studio uh, and met with me and took a tour, and I showed him some of the work we were doing, and I told him now, you, I knew they were going to do a network. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah, and uh, I said, you can see we can do your work. I, he said, that's not why we're here, and I said, well, why are you here? And he said, we, we're interested in buying your company and your studio, and uh, I said, well, I don't know that I'd be interested. Uh, thank you. <laughs> and then uh, a few weeks later, they called and said, can we come back down there again and talk to you? <laughs> they came down and made another offer. And then uh, 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 my wife and I would spend our winters down in Florida. And so we had gone down to spend winter in Florida. And I got a call from Ken Lowe, who's the was ended, ended up being the president. He was sending flowers to my wife every three or four days down in Florida. What? Yeah, it was it was, it was amazing. Uh, my wife got a big kick of having flowers all over the house. <laughs> He's trying he, to get at you through Sue? Is yeah. that the deal? <laughs> and he called me and said, could I come down and make one more pass? I said, if you want to. And so I met him at a hotel down in Miami. He said, put down on this piece of paper what you want for your company. If we want to pay it, we'll pay it. Otherwise, we won't bother you anymore. Hmm. So I randomly put down a figure on the, on the piece of paper and handed it to him. And he said, I've got to call Cincinnati. I'll be back. So I sat there for about a half hour, and he came back, stuck out his hand, and said, we got a deal. Wow. I said, well, well, well wait a minute. So I got Did that call. surprise you after the number you put down on the yeah. piece of paper? Yeah. So I went back to, uh, I said, I got to call my guy. So I called my, my, my financial guy has been with me for years, still is with me. And he said, well, Ross, you're going to take it, aren't you? And I said, well, I don't know. And he said, well, Of course, because this is, you've built your whole career, That's right? right. It, you're producing it's TV shows. Like, you're successful. Yeah, it's like letting your child go, you know? Right, totally. Yeah, and uh, he's. But he said, uh, well, you're going to take it, aren't you? And I said, well, I don't know. And he says, let me put it to you so you'll understand. <laughs> you put that money in a cardboard box and slide it under your bed. And every year you reach in there and get X number of dollars, and you won't live long enough to spend it. Wow. And I said, I think I'll say <laughs> And I did. And wow. so I started all over again with Ross Television. And doing, th but that was, that birthed HGTV, which yeah. is pro would you say, it's got to be one of the most successful networks. Oh, and, yeah, and to this day, Home and Garden and stuff is very, uh, yeah. the HGTV is a big deal. Yeah, and, and Discovery, and, right, just bought oh, oh, Scripps. Yeah. They just Discovery. bought out Scripps. And it just bought out uh, Scripps. Wow. So the the studio's still there, and their oper their offices are still there in that building. I was there a couple of weeks ago uh, doing some composing work for them, and it's amazing. It's an empire over there. Oh, sure. Yeah, the, right? the whole operation is... A, a, it's amazing. Because you know, we've got a lot, of, a lot of things besides Home and Garden, Discovery has. Right, yeah. right. And uh, so it's... it's uh, it's amazing. I had a a, a, a driver 
his, uh, would drive or God would ride with me to the studio at Hey Dude, he worked for Nickelodeon. Young guy, you know. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And uh, later he became CEO of Walt Disney. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and then he became CEO of Discovery. And I don't know what he's doing today, but wow. uh, it, it was a, a, that guy just amazed me. His name was Rich Ross.